Welcome back into Live It Up. I'm Lee Aker here with Pam Klein, and we've been taping today at New Health Chiropractic. And now we have the man of the hour with us. We have Dr. Rich. We just love your segments and being here. So thank you so much for being yeah, here today. Thanks for having me. So I, I love having you guys in the space. What, what are we do? What are you doing to me today? Today, <laughs> I today. Know, if you you probably noticed, I went over here into this seat because Pam is literally in the. Hey, at least seat. I'm not laying down today, right? Yeah, like, exactly. It's, a, it's starting to keep you standing up. No. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. we'll see if she stays standing. Yeah, yeah sitting. exactly. Yeah. Okay. So if she passes out, we'll we'll worry about it. So don't yes. worry, mom. I'll no, be there's, fine. There's a uh, there's a lot of things that we do chiropractically and sometimes there's there's adjunct therapies that we can use in order to help get a different result so mm -hmm. one of those things is dry needling so the one of the other things that we'll talk about in the future is something called scraping or iastm or graston or gua sha it's got a bunch of different oh, names wow. depending on on what where you got your training and kind yeah. of what you're doing mm -hmm. with it so but today we're going to do a little bit of dry needling, dry um, needling. we use this to break up trigger points. So I used to have a patient, she used to call them her permanots. So the, oh. the little hard spots in those muscles that you get, they're called trigger points. Oh, yeah. um, we can use acupuncture needles to break those up. We can also use it to, to calm the muscle down or, or to have an effect on a joint. Um, it actually causes a little bit of inflammation in the area, which kind of sends the signals for your body to heal an area up. So, yeah. so we're just going to do Pam's hand today because I figured it was the easiest thing to show on TV so we didn't have to get her half naked or anything. But I'm going to put my she, glove on. She was willing so to do it. You never know what I'm going to do. I mean, what's I going on with TW? On. <laughs> so. Pam's like, I'm so ready. I'm so yeah. ready. I mean, as an athlete, I am right handed. So I do have okay. some like cramping sometimes, yeah. you know, from holding onto a pat, pickleball paddle. And exactly. Yeah. Does this ever start so. to hurt on you when you're golfing? Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, for sure. Okay. Yeah. So this is so, a good spot. So there's part. a big muscle here called the hypothenar. Uh, and it is part of your thumb muscle. So mm -hmm. just put some alcohol on there to clean it. And then okay. these needles are about the size of a hair. So the oh. handle of them is a little bigger and then they come in a little tube. I don't know if you can see that on TV, mm -hmm. but then we can just put it into the muscle and we just tap it and you'll get a little bit and we're just gonna put that into the muscle do you want me to hold Sometimes. that? Okay, yeah, you do. It's, it's, it's in there. Yeah, so you see a little jump sign yeah, from, I'm feeling it. From, I from where the muscle's being hit. And so we can do that. You're going to golf so much better. Yeah, so it'll relax that muscle. We got yeah. a little bit of bleed on that one. So we'll just stop the bleeding there. Awesome. Perfect. Oh, that was pretty quick, though. Super. Yeah, yeah. so. And I'm just teasing. I was. Yeah. As she yanks her hand away. No, I didn't even flinch. I'm not sweating so. or anything. Yeah. So yeah, okay. so we can get a so we can get an effect from from that to, oh. uh, and then we can use that in different spaces too. So and so you said now so, that's kind of signaling to my body like, hey, we've got a little bit of an alarm going on here. I'm gonna yep. come back and and heal help that. it up. So it help sends, it out. sends all of those good cytokines and all the things yeah. that we need to heal up that that joint space okay. and, oh, and to, so cool. to heal that muscle up. So. So yeah, what's so that's a, a common about... area then for people to do that? So I use it a lot in like people's uh, trap muscles okay. and across their upper back because um, that's where we tend oh, to hold yeah. all of our stress. Yeah. So um, and so when you go get a massage or when your partner is massaging your neck or your upper yeah. back, a lot of times those those little knots up there is what I can use. That I feel like to... yeah. I feel like my husband would do this so that I won't ask him to massage me. <laughs> He'll be like, oh, let me dry yeah. needle those shoulders. Yeah, that, that, would be, that would be a good <laughs> good way to do yeah, that. Yeah, he'd so, have a blast doing that. Yeah. So yeah, the risk the the benefits are great. The mm -hmm. risk are you know if you use a really long needle, you know, and you're oh, right. working over you know the lungs or whatever, you can get a little bit of bleeding, yeah. um, which is not a big deal. Yeah. Um, but, uh, and then there's, you know, certain places that we actually can't work over. So, um, because of, you know, structures like okay. in your neck and stuff like that. Is it so, always right to the skin? Or one time I had a treatment done and they went like through my pants, through the clothing. Is that you, okay? Or? Yeah, you oh, can go is. through the clothing. Okay. Oh, um, and I will okay. do that quite a bit. Okay. Um, I, you know, you kind of, you want to make sure that the surface is clean. Sure. So if you have bacteria on the surface, yeah. you're introducing this bacteria in. Yeah. It's such a small needle that it, the risk is really low. Okay. But obviously the cleaner we can make the area, the better. Yeah. So yeah. I always sterilize it with, 
with alcohol pads. And, okay. And how many times would like Pam need some work done? Not <laughs> like that. As many this times kind of as I can get her. This kind of work done. Yeah. <laughs> so it, it really depends on, and I'll I'll do it with people um, depending on like what their condition is, okay. based on kind of what symptoms they're having. Okay. So so it might it, be one and done. Or? Yep, might be one and done. Um, sometimes it takes a little bit more. Sometimes it's where you carry your stress. Sometimes it's um, a little bit of, you know, like how much of a reaction we get out of it. Oh, so yeah, yeah. I might do it one time and then not do it again for another month because they oh, get a, nice. you know, pretty good reaction from oh, it. So nice. Well, thank you so much. Thanks. I enjoyed these experiments on Pam. <laughs> <laughs> we'll keep so doing good. them. Yes, yes. Well, they're very informative and I'm sure they're very helpful for people. So I appreciate that. Thank you so much for watching Live It Up on Television Wisconsin.